I'm very excited because this week Mariah is singing to us in Spanish. Hey kids, Treacle here, welcome back to my channel. This week MC30 has brought us some amazing EPs. We are having a week devoted to the number ones era. It's amazing that the number ones album even exists. Who else has a greatest hits compilation album, whatever you wanna call it, based on number one hits. It came out in 98, had Mariah's 13 number one hits at the time. She's now on 19. It was such a, an iconic album for her to be able to even put this out. And she gave us three cover songs on this album. And we have EPs celebrating each of those. So we have EPs for Sweetheart, I Still Believe, and Do You Know Where You're Going To? Sweetheart is a track that doesn't get discussed that much and to be honest I kind of forget about it as well. It's cute, um, it's it's not my favourite song on the number one's album because it's there with some really really hard hitters um, but it's one of the few handful of songs that Mariah added that were new so it was fun to have. I do like it but I actually prefer the dance remixes so there's nothing on this EP that is necessarily new to me but certainly things that I haven't listened to in a long while. It's a proper Mariah and JD collaboration, duet if you will. Um, it, it is a duet, he's there on the track, he's there in the video, the music video is really cute. Um, so on the EP, I'm not madly in love with the story version. I do really enjoy the dance and I also love the M's pounding vocal. Um, I think it's a song that lends itself really well to dance remixes. Um, so yeah, it's not the most amazing EP and like I said, not anything that I haven't heard before, but we're happy to have it. I Still Believe is a song that definitely does not get discussed enough. Mariah doesn't do that many covers. I mean, three on this one album, number ones at the time was a really big deal. I Still Believe is not one of her more famous covers, but it's actually one of my favorites. I just really, really love her vocal on this track. I like the story behind it as well, that it was um, originally a song by Brenda K. Starr and Mariah was doing backing vocals for Brenda and she had a hand in helping Mariah get her break and everything. Um, and I like that video footage from back in the day where they're, they're reflecting on memories and their, their uh, friendship and talking about how maybe Brenda will do one of Mariah's songs and everything kind of fell apart and I don't know the ins and outs of why they don't get on anymore. Um, someone please uh, bring me up to speed in the comments. Um, but Mariah did cover Brenda's uh, song, I Still Believe. And like I said, I really enjoyed the vocal. I've loved it as a ballad, but I've also really loved it as a dance version as well. This EP is so amazing because we get so much. But a quick note first on the music video. The music video is not my favorite. I really understand and appreciate the whole paying homage to Marilyn Monroe, entertaining the troops and Marilyn is so dear to Mariah and I think it's a great moment paying homage to that um but it's just not my favorite i find it a little dull i don't know apart from the ponytail shots you've gotta love that ponytail so these remixes are everything i absolutely adore the pure imagination remix that remix is legendary i love that we have it in an acapella version as well um the r b versions just give the remix a totally different vibe again this is in this era within mariah's career where she is taking a ballad uh, or any song really giving us the regular version the one we're going to see on the charts here on the radio but then give us an r b version give us a dance mix version and they just become beasts of their own and this pure imagination remix of i still believe is legendary i really enjoy it still to this day the dance remixes are some of the best um, that we've had from her in the 90s. I absolutely adore a David Morales remix of a Mariah track and I still believe does not disappoint. I've always freaking loved these remixes. Um, I've always had them. Again, there's nothing new on this EP that I haven't had, but here we are celebrating the number ones era week. So I'm paying attention to these remixes and enjoying them all over again. The Eve of Souls remix and the Kings mix as well. Adore these. Even within the dance remixes, we're getting different vibes. So this EP is almost like an album in itself. We've got the original ballad, we've got the R&B remixes, we've got a whole different section of dance remixes and different vibes within the dance remixes. Um, so although, again, nothing new to the party, it is such a strong EP. Certainly a pleasant surprise was the EP for Do You Know Where You're Going To? 
Now, not a lot of people knew there were official remixes to this track. They're very rare, and I've never personally owned them, but I have heard some of them across the years on the internet. So when I saw that we were getting this EP, I was very curious, very intrigued, um, and a lot of people may be a little bit disappointed. They're not the best remixes. They're not gonna shoot up to um, my you know, top 20 Mariah remixes ever. Um, so I, I've seen some disappointment on Twitter and I get that, I feel you, I understand that. Um, but come on, it's still a whole EP of remixes that we didn't have and that some of you didn't even know existed. Um, so some of us are speculating, was their intention for Do You Know You're Going To to be a commercial release? Possibly, I don't know. Um, was it going to be going to be a single? I don't know if you heard anything or you knew anything at the time. Again, let me know in the comments. An interesting tidbit though, is that a certain other singer who was caught up in making trouble for Mariah around this time in her career, also recorded this song and it appeared on their album just six or seven months after number ones came out. So maybe Mariah was going to release this and that's why remixes were commissioned. At Ultimately, the idea was shelved and these remixes maybe got a limited release in Europe, I read, or something. I'm not sure. If you know more about these remixes, let me know. I'd love to learn how they were used and if it, if there was some kind of release somewhere that I'm, I'm not aware of. But again, maybe not the best remixes. That's fine. Not every remix can be a stone winner, but great to have and very, very rare. And the bonus EP, the one that has got everyone so excited, everyone is tweeting about and posting about on Facebook is the Mariah in Spanish EP. So we did not get the Spanish versions of Hero, Open Arms or My All in previous weeks. I was kind of hoping she was going to put them out. Um, I don't think, uh, well I didn't think they were going to appear on the rarities. If you see my videos talking about the forthcoming album and predictions for that track listing, it didn't look like they were going to make an appearance. So I was hoping <laughs> that we were going to get a Spanish EP. And look, you put things out into the universe and the universe delivers. We have a Spanish EP and I love it so, so much. Hero and Open Arms sound beautiful, of course, in Spanish. My All is like on a different level. The song was already with a Spanish guitar vibe and it was begging, absolutely begging to be sung in Spanish. So my all becomes mi todo and I absolutely love it. I did have a CD version of this where it had um, my all in English, my all in Spanish and some of the Latin butterfly remixes that we enjoyed from last week's MC30 releases. I had heard some of the dance mixes of Mi Todo, and I really, really enjoy them so, so much. If you're a Spanish-speaking lamb, these, this must have been so, so exciting. I've had a lot of people um, quoting a tweet of mine, retweeting it, and I've seen all kinds of comments and uh, quotes when uh, retweeting with a quote from Spanish-speaking lambs that I don't understand, but it looks like they're really excited. Um, so I think this is such an awesome release for Mariah this week. Of course, if we are talking about the number ones album, we have to give a brief shout out to When You Believe, the amazing, legendary, historic duet with the late, great Whitney Houston. No EP for that song. There isn't much to offer, really. There is a TV track version, which has, I think it's just a slightly longer instrumental um, introduction. And um, maybe there could have been a live version, either from Oprah or from the Oscars. And that pretty much would have been it. No mention of anything to do with the duet for Mariah yet, but it is such an historic duet and something that's very close to her heart. And she treasures the memories of recording the song with Whitney, as we know. I wouldn't be surprised if we get something for Mariah on social media in the coming days. Over the next week, maybe just a shout out, a mention, a post, maybe maybe a video of, of a live performance or something, I don't know. But when I think of the number one's album and era, my, my first thought really is When You Believe. Um, so no mention of When You Believe within MC30, but we have had a great collection of EPs released this week for sure.
of these EPs, which one was your favorite? What do you think of the remixes to Do You Know We Are Going To? Did you know they existed? Have you listened to them for the first time? What do you think of them? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And next week, we are presumably moving on to the Rainbow Era. So is there anything from that era that you are really hoping makes a Rainbow EP? Let me know in the comments. Hit the like button if you have given these EPs a listen this week. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any future content. And I will see you again very soon. Cheers, thanks a lot.